Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen with Sarah Gunther. She is one of our viewers, and she has all sorts of great uh, family recipes. And some of those oldies, those ones that have you know been passed down for generations. There's nothing better. Oh, I know it. You know, you, Carl's aunt had given me this recipe, and it's like apples in the in the fall. I'm, I made it at the cabin on Saturday, and Carl came in from fishing. We came in, we we're freezing to death, and we had this for dessert. And he goes, you know, this is really fabulous. Uh -huh. I said. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, <laughs> that's great. So yeah. this is uh, called a an apple kuchen. Yes, an apple kuchen. And where the kuchen kind of comes in is we're going to put a cream type mixture up on the top, and it just has this nice little you know custardy you know flavor mm. to it. It's just so good. Sounds yeah. fantastic. So we're peeling yeah. four apples. Yeah. So four, and I I like to use Macintosh. I'm kind of a traditionalist, and that's again back to that whole German heritage thing. There was a lot of apple trees that they used, and and that's to me still the best cooking apple. Okay. And and it's kind of different. We're going to be putting down a, a flour mixture on the bottom, and then the apples up on top, and then finally the custard. So it's kind of like a three-layered process. Ooh, it sounds great. Okay. So so help me to work over yeah, here. Yeah. So this is going to be. You've got a cup of flour here, and then two tablespoons of sugar. And just a splash of salt, just like a, half, a quarter teaspoon, and then this is a little baking powder. This okay. is a half a, a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And then I'm going to have you cube up. Um, and the sugar also? Uh, that's sugar? late. That's okay. actually uh, okay. later. Pinch yep. of salt. Okay. Yep. And then um, I'm going to have you cube up a quarter cup of butter, okay. and then mix that in with the pastry blender. You bet. And then that's going to go on for our base. But yeah, Carl um, just started this new that. endeavor. He calls himself the Apple Dumpling Gang, and he and a, a buddy of his created an apple press. And then they have been making apple cider for the last couple weeks, Ooh. and it is really good. I bet. Wow. And yeah. So Alicia's been s sipping that at night. Just absolutely loves it. And again, <laughs> the whole the whole apple thing. It's great. That's you know this is the time of year. Take the family apple picking. You know, mm -hmm. fall will be gone before you know it. So yeah. that's great. How old is your daughter now? Well, she's um, 15, sophomore, and on the swim team, and forensics, and all sorts of stuff. Just enjoying school. Just loves it. That's and great. Yeah. They, the uh, Berlin actually swam against Appleton East the other day, which was where I graduated from, and they lost by four points to the swim meet, which oh. was really good for a small school. Yeah, so, that's great. So they were pretty proud. Well, not of great that they lost. Yeah. It's great that they but, did so yeah, well. Yeah, they did so well. Exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this together and make a little crust here with the butter, the sugar, a pinch of salt, right. or no sugar, it was just butter, yeah, flour, yeah, yeah, little, pinch of little salt. Yeah, a little sugar in there, yep. Okay. And, you know, and, and then we're going to, like you say, it's just going to be just kind of like a little mini pie crust. And, you know, and this would be perfect, like, if you could, you know, put a pork roast on in the crock pot, you know, if you start that out and, you know, you'd have it all set and then you could pull this out of the oven and throw some ice cream on it and it's just not going to get any better. Oh, that sounds like my perfect fall dinner. Yeah. So and down in the bottom it goes. Down in the bottom it goes and then we kind of just basically pat it down. Okay. You know? So you're, you know, it's, it's super simple. You know, and I think, you know, years ago too, they always were trying to use what they had, you know, especially, um, I know, like uh, Carl's family, the story is, is that they actually from Milwaukee walked to Sheboygan, and that's how they started their um, uh, German uh, heritage in that area. And they actually were one of the first families. It's called the Shuttler Cabin, and it's actually down at Old Wisconsin. And they have the original uh, cabin yet, which is really neat. Wow, that is a great story. Okay, so we've got our crust. Yeah, and then we're going to put the apple slices, and we can start wash my hands slicing here. these. Right up on top, I've got another knife here where we both can kind of work at it. And I think what's nice about this too is that you're not making the whole pie crust because sometimes people are really intimidated by the whole pie thing. This is super simple; yeah. they don't have to worry about right. that. Right? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm one of those people. I'm not a. I, I like to buy pre-bought, pre-made yeah. pie crust, you know, yeah. unless it's like a, a crisp or a crumble or like a press-in crust, which I can do. And, and this is kind of, you know, a rough chop because you want it to look rustic looking. That's okay. kind of the, you know, idea behind it. And so you just throw these over the top? Just throw them right over the top. Yeah, so I made, uh, I was, you know, trying the recipes out. I always, you know, do that ahead of time just to make sure I've got it all down. And so I made the, like I said at the cabin, the potato kielbasa soup as well. And Alicia was, uh, we got back from fishing and she's like, she goes, there's not much left. I said, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign, though. That's a good sign, it. yes. 
Okay. All right. So basically, we get our apples over it. Now we've got yeah. then at this point and some sugar yeah. and cinnamon. A little sugar and cinnamon over the top. Okay. And this whole thing of sugar is going to go in. That's basically a quarter cup plus a couple tablespoons. Okay. And like I said, these just look beautiful up on top. At home, you'll do a little work speeding things sure. along here. And then sprinkle sugar and a little cinnamon. Oh, this doesn't get much easier. No. So this mm -hmm. then it goes into the oven. Yes, yeah, so that's going to go into the oven and it's going to go in at 400 for 15 minutes. And so okay. we've got kind of an idea of now where yep. we're at next here, you know. So this is so where that's, we are here. Yeah. And you know, I mean, look at how beautiful it looks already. And yeah. We're not and even there yet. It smells so good. So now we take the heavy cream. Yeah. So, so we need two eggs beaten. Okay. So I'll give you that side. And then a cup of heavy cream. And you know, I tell you, between Lamer's milk and cream, it just doesn't get any better. Look okay. at that. Got a little shell in there. I'm going to get my, gonna fish out All my right. little shell. Hold on one second. And then. I just beat those egg ups up, and we're gonna. And I like to sprinkle just a little cinnamon up on the top when we're done here too. So we'll put this all together. I'm gonna grab a. Oh, absolutely, a little fork, fork or to whisk it together, and a little bit bigger bowl. Okay. Okay. Great. So two eggs. Yep. And once you get those beaten in, I'll just kind of pour the cream in so we can mix you it together. Bet. And, and this is going to be the custard that's going to go on top. This is the custard part, and you know, it's just it, it's just so creamy. I can't tell you how wonderful it is when you take that first bite. Anytime you put cream in anything, it usually is <laughs> yeah. usually good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then this goes poured right over the right top. Right over the top. And into and the oven. And back into the oven. Now we're going to reduce the temperature to 350 for about 25 minutes. Okay. And it goes back in the oven, and it's just going to really... I'll show you what it looks yeah. like. We've made quite a mess here, Anne. Yeah. Anne's looking at me like, wow. <laughs> well, there's well, a lot we've been doing a lot of cooking today. Yeah, oh, there, there has been a lot of cooking and a lot of good smells in this I kitchen this morning. It. I know it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let me go back to the oven and we'll show you See how this. And you say this is best. You like to serve this. I warm? like to serve it warm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah, it sounds gonna, good to me. You know, take a nice scoop out, and it's just really, really tasty. Ooh. I mean, look at that. Oh, and it's gorgeous. Yeah. It really just looks kind just of that, yeah. old fashioned and you know yeah. German and ooh, and it smells. Just smells so good. Mm. Do you even cut it in pieces or you just kind of? I just kind of scoop it out, scoop you know, because again, out. you know, the, I like that rustic look, a nice, yeah. you know, get the, you know, the good vanilla ice cream. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm a happy yeah. camper. Thank you so much for sharing. You now, are um, Sarah's yeah. excited. Yeah. She put together a family <laughs> cookbook together, uh, home cooked meals made easy by Sarah Gunther. For people who want to get a hold of this cookbook, um, how can they get it? Um, they can get it at my email, and it's cabincookery at gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. I've had fabulous reviews. Everybody loves it that's bought it, and I certainly would like to share my family recipes. Thank you so much, hey, Sarah. Thank really you. really appreciate it. And we'll be back to wrap things up. All the great recipes that we did on the show today, from that warm German potato salad to Sarah's kielbasa potato soup to this apple kuchen and more, we'll put on our website. We'll be back. Stay with us.